Let's play a game. Put a finger down. Ready? Okay. Put a finger down if you've ever fallen out of a car that was still moving, been run over and stuck under said car for nearly 10 minutes, and then had to make a YouTube video about it to reassure your audience that you're working on recovering and explain why you haven't been uploading much recently. Yeah, this is not clickbait. So hi, I'm Photo of Ferret, and I got run over recently. Here's that story. So one night I was out on a drive, sitting in the passenger seat, and was admittedly feeling kind of bleh. I wasn't super into the trip, kind of just wanted to go home. We get to where we're heading, start to park on a bit of an incline, I unbuckle my seatbelt, open the door, and step out. However, unbeknownst to my stupid, dumb, very, very, very tiny brain, the car hadn't quite been fully parked yet. So I step out onto what I assume is solid stationary ground, when in fact, the ground was Sonic speeding away from me as if to say, yo, let's cause some mischief. And I wasn't gently stepping out either. My whole body was committed to that motion. I trip on the ground. I trip on the ground. My body spills out of the car. I land on the driveway front side first, and then I roll to the left and I end up on my back. Okay, this is going really well. Oh. The car kept rolling back. It very quickly rolls over my right leg and then stops on top of my thigh. Now, in the moment, I only wanted the car to roll off me, but for whatever reason, it couldn't crank back up. Which, in retrospect, was an absolute blessing in disguise. Because had the car kept rolling, the trajectory of that tire would have sent it right over my groin and probably over my left hip, and none of that would have been fun. Luckily, and I use that term lightly here, luckily, the tire stopped right on top of my thigh without sitting directly on the bone. My other leg was totally free and movable, but I kept that thing pressed right up up against the car trying desperately to lift even the tiniest bit of weight off of me. And I should point out, this wasn't some tiny little convertible. Nah, this was a big car. And it sat on top of me for nearly 10 minutes. So I was in a bit of a predicament. I'm trapped under a car, not exactly having a great time. Emergency responders came, grabbed some kind of jack thing. I don't know, I couldn't see it. I was under a car, stuck it under the front bumper and lifted that dang thing off of me. And let me tell you, you have never experienced relief quite like having a car lifted off of your leg. I still didn't feel good, but compared to before, I was kind of chilling. I mean, it helped that my leg was mostly numb at that point, but yeah. From there, I'm lifted onto a stretcher, loaded into an ambulance, and rushed to the emergency room. They took a bunch of x-rays and somehow found zero signs of a broken bone or fracture, which, amazed me. I mean, at no point during any of this was the pain unbearable, but like, I got run over and was stuck under a car for 10 minutes. I had to have broken something, but apparently not. I was still very much in pain, but after a while, we did what the doctor called a road test to see if I could take a few steps, which I was able to do with a little help. So a few hours, a tetanus shot, and one deep clean of my horrifically scraped up leg later, I'm handed some crutches and sent home. I've been focusing on recovering for a while now. The back of my leg was basically skinned by the pavement, so that's been the toughest thing to work through. And it's not exactly in tip top shape yet, but after a couple of weeks, I was up and walking without my crutches, which is progress. So I'm working on getting better. And I just wanted to make this quick video to let you guys know what happened, let you know I'm doing okay, and explain why I've not been uploading much lately. I was working on a video about Mario before all this happened, but I've decided to shelve that for now and allow myself more time to dedicate to a much bigger video that I'm looking to upload on Halloween. So yeah, I'm alive and I'm doing okay. I appreciate you guys being patient with me as I recover and I promise things on the channel will be back to normal as soon as I can manage it. Until then, please stay safe and uh, always make sure the car is stopped before you get out of it. Trust me.